because that's what you do. You embrace that emotion from each other. All right, we've got to do that. The Marcus Whitman boys basketball team might be stuck in the past, and that's not a bad thing. Class C1 sectional finalist a season ago, the Wildcats refused to forget the sting of that defeat. We need to remember it because if we put that behind us and don't remember why, uh, you know, why we couldn't pull that off or why we couldn't pull off the win, uh, then, then it's not going to make us better each day. Uh, you know, we need to learn from that, we need to remember that, and then we need to use that as motivation to, to drive us this year and, and get better each day. Soon after that loss at the Blue Cross Arena, the Marcus Whitman players started preparing for the current season, and that meant a discussion via text message. Oh, it's stuck with, I think, everyone every single day. Uh, you know, I, uh, we got in a little group chat and everything, and a common thing, we actually titled our group chat at one point in time, the final score, which was 63-42 in Blue Cross. So it stuck with us. I think that's our whole motivation this, uh, this offseason and into the season is go, be, getting back to Blue Cross and finishing, uh, finishing it off this time. You know, we stay connected. You know, we're a tight, tight group of guys out here. You know, we treat everything as you know, we're brothers and family. So, yeah, we're a tight group. So, Head coach Greg O'Connor has provided a daily reminder for his team. I hate it and everybody else hates it, but every day coach brings out the plaque, the second place plaque, and puts it in front of everybody right by our practice schedule. We have to look at it every day until <laughs> next time we get up there, hopefully. So, Oh, God. It's, <laughs> you, it's almost like, you know, we get done doing a drill and you start feeling you know, a little sorry for yourself. Or you, uh, you may think you're a little tired and you look over there and you kind of just, you know, let that settle in. And you're just like, all right, I got one more run in me. I got one more like, rep left in me or something like that. So, yeah, it's... It's definitely been motivator for practice and everything that we do. But yeah, I bring that out every day because, uh, you know, that's the closest we've gotten uh, in a long time. And uh, they kind of need the reminder of why we're here each day uh, besides the games, but at practice, um, just to play and prepare every day. The second place trophy has provided a source of motivation for a program which has not won a sectional title since 1976. To help end that drought, the Wildcats made the move to becoming an independent program. After going 47-1 and over three seasons in Finger Lakes West, the program has ventured out on its own. It was a better move for us to get the competition like we're looking for so we can play the bigger schools so we're ready for sectionals. So we're more prepared to finish at the Blue Cross Arena instead of just come up a little bit short. You know, it's going to be a new challenge for you know all of us, You know, getting to play um, some good high level competition. It's going to challenge us each and every day, not just in the game, but in practice. You know, we just, you know, you just can't settle for, you know, being all right. You got to settle to be better than you were yesterday. So it's, it was a challenge, but it was definitely exciting. And we wanted to accept that challenge. The change has meant enduring a few more losses. 18 and 2 a year ago when they entered the sectionals, the Wildcats are currently 7 and 4 on the season, with setbacks to Class B schools Geneva and Hornell as well as perennial Class C contender, Lions. We think we should be undefeated right now. All the games we've had, we haven't had a collective 32 minutes of five or eight or nine, 10 people to play a good collective game. So it's kind of tough to feel like we should have won the one at Weedsport. We should have won the other night at Hornell, and it's kind of tough to take that, but it's not necessarily welcome, but it's not as hardly loss as it is if we were to lose in the West. I mean, we're ready for it. I mean, this group has been playing since like little dribblers we have on Saturday mornings up here for the little kids. And then fifth grade, we went up to Rochester and played in the Grab League. I don't know if you would know what that is, but like we played all sorts of big schools and whatever, and we're just getting ready for it. And then this is kind of like the culmination of it all. It's like Seth and I's final senior year. And then everybody else after that is kind of just dispersed to the group. So it's kind of like a family we've got here. We're just trying to finish it. At first, the mentality I didn't think was there. Um, and so we've had a couple talks recently, especially after the last couple, we, we lost two in a row now. And so yesterday we had a, a team meeting and, and we had a long conversation about what this season actually means. Um, and, you know, I, I felt like sometimes it was going into the game, playing tough teams, and if we win, great. If not, that was a tough team. And, and we're not satisfied with that. Um, so we're trying to change that mindset to really get back to the purpose of, of why we're doing this and that's to get to that sectional final again. One of the challenges was uh, scheduling 20 games. I mean, I thought it was going to be tough. Um, I, I did, I just kind of blanket emailed a bunch of coaches and a lot of them got back to me. And, and I'll, honestly, it was like two and a half weeks later and we had our schedule full. Um, so that was nice uh, just to get a bunch of games like that um, to travel. 
Uh, we're, 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 we're tallying how long, how far we've traveled so far. We're going to see at the end of the season how long we've gone. Um, you know, we just played in Hornell. That makes for a long trip back, you know, when, when you don't get that, that win that you want and play as well as you want. But, um, you know, those are the couple challenges that we've had so far. All of this is in pursuit of one goal. You know, this team is, is really full of leaders. Um, they, they've been together since third grade, you know, building all the way up through. And it's fun to watch them go, um, you know, all the way through. But to have two guys to step up and understand as seniors, knowing it's their last year as well, uh, to bring that importance to the team is huge. Uh, it carries over into the juniors and then they carry it down into the sophomore I have. And the JV team sees that as well. And so hopefully it's just kind of trickled down effect all the way through our program. Last year we made it all the way and that was a like big part of the goal and like that's always been our goal because like since 76 that's our last sectional title so that's a goal this year but, but we don't want to play we want to block so. From Marcus Whitman High School this is Paul Gotham with the High School Sports Beat brought to you by Alfred State College.